KPM. Teenage shopping in the 21st century. On most Saturday mornings, you can find groups of young... Hmm, interesting. New types of technology, social networking and other forms. <gasps> wow, this is such an informative and interesting article. Hmm, I wonder how I can write a good article. Hmm. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. You're watching Didi TV KPF for our subject today, which is English. With me, Shafika Farahi. And as you can see just now, I was thinking about hmm, how to write a good article. Well, that title is exactly what we're going to do today. But before that, I would like to first introduce our teacher for today, who is none other than Teacher Amira Husna Muhammad Razali. Hi, Teacher. Hi. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Wah, Teacher, you're looking very sweet today. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, great. Before we begin our lesson, of course, we would like to introduce as well our sign language interpreter, who is Teacher Kulina from SMK Sultan Abdul Samad Selangor. Hi, Teacher Lina. How are you? All right, it's good to have you here. Now, pupils, before we begin our lesson, as usual, we have our online pupils. So let's have them here in the studio. Hello, everyone. How is everybody doing good? All right, great. Now, Teacher Mira, I would like to know them one by one. Perhaps you can introduce them, please. All right, thank you, Fika. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of them are actually my students from SMK Datuk Mustafa. Uh -huh. So we have the first one, the little lady over here. Okay, that is Nor Tasnim. Hello, Tasnim. Hi, Tasnim. Hi, Tasnim. Right. Okay, next to Tasnim, we have Nor Sharifah Atika. Hello, Sharifa. Hello, Sharifa. Welcome. Okay, next we have Muhammad Irfan Shukri. Hello, Irfan. Hi, Irfan. And last but not least, we have Muhammad Danish Haikal Razif. Hi, Danish. Well, hi, Danish. It's good to have everybody here. Now, today, as I've been mentioned by teacher Amira, we are going to focus on writing skills, right? Yes. So, pupils at home as well watching, get out your pens, get out your notebooks, write down all the necessary things you need to do a good writing. Now, teacher, without wasting any more time, let's begin our class. Thank you, Fika. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so for today's lesson, we are going to learn about writing an article. So this lesson is actually taken from English Download B1+, Plus, which is English Form 5 textbook, page 144 to 145. So for viewers at home, you may refer to your English textbook, English Download B1+, Plus, page 144 to 145. Mm -hmm. All right. So before I begin with the lesson, I'm going to talk about the learning objective. By the end of the lesson, our pupils will be able to explain the main points for and against your way favorite your favorite way to eat from the choices provided by using the provided plan to explain their reasons. Pupils will also be able to express your feelings on your favorite way to eat in five paragraphs. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we begin with our lesson, I have few questions to be asked to our fellow students. Mm -hmm. All right, should I ask our students? Are you ready for uh, the questions? You guys ready? If Perhaps you are ready, please. show me your thumbs up. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. For the first question, do you prefer shopping for clothes on foot or shopping online? Wow. So can we ask for a volunteer? Mm, interesting question there. Is Who there any like volunteer? First, raise your hand up. Okay, is there any volunteer? Please show me your hand. If you're not going to volunteer, perhaps teacher Mira will call your name out. Mm. All right, that's name. Okay, that's name. Can you please share your idea? Do you prefer to shop for clothes on food or shopping online? I prefer shopping online because I don't like to go outside and I don't know how to socialize because I'm an introvert. Okay, wow. so you are an introvert, so you don't like to socialize outside and you prefer to shop for clothes online. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, that's name. What about we ask for another volunteer? Come can on. I have another one? Anyone else? Yes, Irfan. Irfan, can you please share your idea? Do you prefer to shop for clothes on food or shopping online? I prefer to go shopping on food so that I can check the quality of the item and 
I want to purchase. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you prefer to shop for clothes on food. I have to agree with you because we need to check the quality of the material that mm -hmm. we are purchasing and then maybe we can try for the measurement whether it fits us or not. Right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Irfan. That's a good idea. Okay, what about we go to the next question? Okay. okay, for the next question, do you prefer wearing smart clothes or casual clothes most of the time? Wow, Sharifa has already raised her hand okay, up. Okay, so she's excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we ask Sharifa? Can you please share your idea? Do I prefer, prefer to wear casual clothes because it looks simpler and easy to go. It is less time consuming to get ready for my day. Okay, so you prefer to wear casual clothes because it is simpler and it's easy or maybe less time consuming to get ready for you. Okay, so I have to agree with you. Casual clothes is actually simpler and we maybe do not need to iron the clothes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you Sharifa. What about the next one? Can I ask Razif? Razif, can you please share your idea? Do you prefer to wear smart clothes or casual clothes most of the time? Um, I prefer to smart clothes because I love to look presentable and smart every day. Okay, wow. so you prefer to wear smart clothes because you love to look presentable and look handsome all day long. Yes. I have to agree with you. You do look dashing in smart clothes. Thank you, Razif. I agree as well. What yes. lovely opinions from the people. Now, what has this question got to do with our lesson okay, today? Okay, you must be wondering, mm. why do we ask our students for their preference? Okay, actually, for today's lesson, the students are going to write an article about what they prefer. Mm. Okay, so they are going to describe their preference and then they are going to justify their reasons. Ah, oh, right. All right. Now I see it. Okay, before we go deeper into writing an article, I'm going to introduce the format and features of an article. Okay, before we start writing, we actually need to note down any ideas that we have about the task. So we are going to analyze the question later and then we are going to decide which one is the best option for us. So mm -hmm. we have our own opinion. So we are going to describe our opinion and justify our reasons. Mm -hmm. Next, we also need to organize the best ideas and make a plan, make a plan for our article. Okay? All right. Next, so this is the planning. Here comes the planning part. So first, for an article, we need to have a captivating title. Okay, so the function of the captivating title is to capture readers' attention into reading our article further. Okay, then we have the first paragraph or paragraph one. So in paragraph one or introduction part, we are going to introduce the topic of our article and then we are going to include interesting fact or relate the topic to our own life mm -hmm. in order to grab readers attention and we also can answer the main question in the task by stating our preference or opinion okay so we can use phrases like can you imagine did you know that that is how we are going to introduce a certain fact okay moving on to paragraph two and paragraph three so here comes the main part of the article so this is the main body consisting the main ideas of article here we are going to identify or state the main idea followed by the elaboration and then supported by examples so also this is going to make sure that each paragraph starts with a topic sentence mm -hmm. so a topic sentence is actually consists of the main idea of the paragraph and it is written in the first line of each paragraph okay we also can use linkers or sentence connectors like first of all, firstly, to start with, secondly, to identify the sequence of our main ideas. Mm -hmm. Next, moving on to paragraph four, this is the closing part or the conclusion where we are going to end our article and summarize the opinion and give our feelings if it is relevant. So basically, article, the tone of article is personal and we are describing our opinions. Opinions, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so here, here is the sample of an article. So we are going to identify what are the features in the article. So first, teenage shopping in the 21st century. So this is actually the title of the article. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, our pupils can try to put up a captivating title in order to capture readers' attention. Mm -hmm. And then we have the first paragraph or the opening paragraph, which consists the introduction. Here we are going to introduce the topic, okay, or the ideas, all the ideas that we are going to talk later on. And then we have paragraphs, so paragraphs 2, paragraph 3, and paragraph 4, where we can put up our main idea. 
And then, last but not least, we have closing paragraph or conclusion where we are going to summarize our ideas. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So now let's move on to the next slides. Okay, this is actually the checklist to be done after we write our article. So first, we have to make sure that we have followed our plan. We have to make sure that we have given our article a title. And we need to catch or capture this attention in paragraph one, which is the introduction mm -hmm. by showing maybe some extra facts or interesting events in life. Okay. And we need to be reminded that each paragraph needs to start with a topic sentence. Last but not least, we need to support our idea with elaborations and example. So every point or main idea must come with elaboration and then example. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, this is a must to do where students or our pupils need to check their work carefully for any mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. Alright, so these are the points that uh, pupils can take home and remember to check every time you write an article. Yes, true. And uh, I also believe that you can use sentence connectors and linkers Definitely. to improve the quality yes. of your article. Mm, we have more to explore about how to write an article, but stay tuned. We'll be right back here on DD TV KPM. Welcome back to our slot Money Atas today for English lesson and today we are focusing on how to write an article the right way and a good one. Now to uh, perhaps uh, rephrase back what teacher Mira said, we have uh, a title for the article, we have paragraph one which is an introduction to uh, grab people's attention and we also have a paragraph two which is the main part, it has all the elaborations and examples and also the summary which is in paragraph four. But before we move on, perhaps Perhaps uh, just briefly, Teacher Mira can um, explain why uh, articles are different from essays. Okay, so hmm. the difference of article with other essay is the tone of articles actually persuasive and sounds a little bit personal. Because in the article, we're actually expressing our opinions mm -hmm. and we are trying to give our view or perspective to other people. So that the readers will know what we are trying to talk about and they will come closer into our personal opinion. Ah, now I see the difference. All right, teacher. Let's move on with our lesson now. All right. Thank you, Fika. Okay, so here is a sample question of an article. So we are going to identify or analyze the sample question first in order to answer an article. Okay, so for this one, you see this announcement in an English language magazine for teenagers. So the topic given is my favorite way to communicate. How do you prefer to communicate with your friends? Face-to-face, -face, SMS, chatting on the computer? Write an article about your favorite way to talk to your friends, explaining why you prefer it. Mm -hmm. The best articles will be published in next month's magazine. So this is taken from English Download B1+. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to ask our students on how to analyze the article. Okay, so let's see at the question first. All right, so here we are given options to choose whether our favorite way to communicate is through face-to-face -face conversation, SMS, short message service, or chatting on the computer. Mm -hmm. So the students or the pupils must choose only one choice and then justify their reasons. They are going to describe why they choose this one choice rather than the other. Okay? All right. Mm. All right. So given here is the sample answer. So from here, we can see that the chosen answer is talking face-to-face -face or face-to-face -face conversation. So I'm going to need one of my students to help me to read the text aloud. Can we ask for a volunteer? All right. Who's going to volunteer? Just okay, read out. Okay, Irfan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Irfan, can you start with the title first? Talking face to face. Would you tell your friend a secret on Facebook or wait until you meet them? Personally, I prefer seeing my friends face and hearing their voice when we talk. All right, thank you, Ifan. That's a good right. read. Okay, why don't we ask for the next volunteer to read second paragraph? Mm -hmm. Can Who's I have next? a volunteer? 
Ah, go on. Who would like to read next paragraph two? Teacher Mira, anyone? All right. Can we ask uh, from Sharifa? Mm -hmm. Sharifa, can you please help me to read second paragraph aloud? The most important thing about being together is that contribution is, is spontaneous. If you send someone a text, you are forced to sit on your own waiting for them to think of and write their reply. This is not a proper lively contribution for me. Okay, the most important thing about being together is that the conversation is spontaneous. If you send someone a text, you are forced to sit on your own waiting for them to think of and write their reply. This is not appropriate, proper, lively conversation for me. Okay, thank you, Sharifa. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we ask for the volunteer for the next paragraph? All right. Who is next? All right, Razif, can you please read the third paragraph? Apart from that, what about those feelings that you can communicate with words? If one of my friends while unhappy, for example, I would want to be there to give them a hug. You can not do that on a screen. All right, thank you, Razif. Apart from that, what about those feelings that you can't communicate with words? If one of my friends was unhappy, for example, I would want to be them. I would want to be there to give them a hug. You can't do that on a screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Can we have the last one, Tasnim? Tasnim, can you please read paragraph four for me? Conversation also gives you a better chance of keeping your personal life private. Testing is fine for making arrangement or gossiping, but if you want to write down personal thoughts and feelings, they could easily be read, be read by other people. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Tasnim. Spoken conversation also gives you a better chance of keeping your personal life private. Texting is fine for making arrangements or gossiping, but if you write down personal thoughts and feelings, they could easily be read by other people. All right, so if you really want to talk to me, come on over. Let's have a proper chat face to face. face, -to -face. So there is a conclusion where they or the writer uh, restate again their option, mm -hmm. which is talking face to face. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Phyllis. What a strong uh, article that uh, persuades us to believe in them. Yes. I feel believed. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All True. right, teacher. Okay, why don't we proceed with the next task? So here we are going to continue analyzing our sample answer. So here I'm going to ask our students to circle or identify the paragraph topic in paragraph 2, 3 and 4. For your information, paragraph topic is actually a topic sentence which consists the main idea of each paragraph and it is usually written in the first line of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's ask for our students' help. Mm -hmm. So we're going to begin with paragraph two. Can I have a volunteer? Okay. So we're trying to figure out the paragraph topics. Yes. Each paragraph, okay. All right, can we start with Tasnim? Tasnim, can you please read first the second paragraph? Mm -hmm. Name? Okay. You can start reading. Um, the most important thing about being together is that the conversation is spontaneous. If you send someone a text, you are forced to sit on your own waiting for them to think of and write their reply. This is for a proper, lively conversation for me. All right, thank you, Tasnim. That was a good read. Okay, why don't you identify the paragraph topic in paragraph two? Where is the topic sentence? It is usually located or written in the first line of each paragraph. Oh, a good clue already there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So which one is it? So where is it, Tasnim? Where is the paragraph topic in paragraph two? Conversation is spontaneous. Okay, so conversation is spontaneous. So we can identify that it is the main idea of the paragraph. So mm -hmm. yes. Okay, why don't we move on to paragraph three. Can I have another volunteer? All right, Irfan, can you please read paragraph three? Apart from that, what about those feeling that you can communicate with work? If, if one of my friends was unhappy, for example, I would want to be 
there to give them a hug. You can do that on a screen. All right. So where is the paragraph topic in paragraph three? Feeling that you can communication with with work. Feelings that you can't communicate with words. So let's see. That is the main idea for paragraph three. Hence, mm -hmm. it is the paragraph topic. Okay. What about paragraph four? Can I have another volunteer? Okay. Razid, can you try for paragraph four? Spoken competition. Competition. Also give you a better chance of keeping your personal life private. Texting is fine for making arrangements or gossiping, but if you write down personal thoughts and feelings, they could easily be read by other, other people. All right, thank you, Razi. So where is the paragraph topic in paragraph four? Keeping your personal private. Okay, mm. so spoken conversation actually keeping your personal life private because nobody are going to throw around all your information. Yes, okay. there's no receipts. Yes. <laughs> so that is the paragraph topic for paragraph four. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move on to our next task. Okay, here we're going to identify if the writer compare face-to-face -face conversation with other forms of communication. Okay, so let's check paragraph two first. Okay, in paragraph two, so do you think the right to compare face-to-face -face conversation with other form forms of communication, such as chatting on a computer or texting? So is there any comparison? Can I have a volunteer? Can I ask Tasnim? Tasnim, what do you think? Does the right to compare face-to-face -face conversation with other forms of communication in paragraph two? Um, if you send someone a text, you are forced to click on your writing for them to think of and write the reply. Okay, so let's say in paragraph 2, the most important thing about being together is that the conversation is spontaneous. If you send someone a text, you are forced to sit on your own waiting for them to think of and write their reply. Mm -hmm. So here, the writer actually compare face-to-face -face conversation with texting or maybe short message service, SMS. So yes. From paragraph 2, we can identify that the writer is comparing face-to-face -face conversation with other forms of communication. What about paragraph 3? Mm -hmm. What about paragraph 3? Is there or is there not a comparison? Sharifa, can you please help mm. me with paragraph 3? Is there any comparison? Yes. Okay. So, why do you say so? Apart from, from that, what... About those feeling that you can communicate, can communicate it with words. Okay, so if those one of feeling? my friend was, if one of my friend was unhappy, for example, I would want to be there to give them a hug. You can do that as that on a screen. Okay, so here the writer is comparing face-to-face -face conversation with a screen. So we know here already that the writer is comparing face-to-face -face conversation with chatting on a computer. Okay, what about the next one? Okay, for the next one, I'm going to tell you that uh, for paragraph four, the writer actually compare face-to-face -face conversation with texting. So we can, we can see directly from the text that spoken conversation also gives you a better chance of keeping your personal life private. Texting is fine for making arrangements or gossiping, but if you want, if you write down personal thoughts and feelings, they could easily be read by other people. So mm -hmm. here, the writer are compare, the writer is comparing face-to-face -face conversation with texting. Okay. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. let's move on to the next one. Okay. For this one, we are going to identify the conditional. Conditional actually describe. Uh, conditional actually describe future things, whether it is possible or not. They also describe or give the result of certain situation or condition. And then a conditional is also used to talk about general things that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to show paragraph two first. This paragraph two is taken from the sample answer. Okay, from here, the most important thing about being together is that the conversation is spontaneous. If you send someone a text, you are forced to sit on your own, waiting for them to think of and write their reply. This is not a proper, lively conversation for me. So, one keyword about conditional is that we can identify the conditional through the keyword if. 
okay so from here the conditional starts from if you send someone a text you are forced to sit on your own waiting for them to think of and write their reply okay so here we are going to identify whether this is what likely to happen or is it always happening mm -hmm. or does it describes an imaginary situation so writing someone a text is actually a daily occasion we do that all the time and mm -hmm. every day so i would say that this conditional sentence actually describe what always happens right so those are examples of ideas that can be written in an article to make it more interesting yes, paragraph true. topics to compare make comparisons and also conditional sentence now teacher mira i'm sure we have more to explore after this so stay tuned we'll be right back here on slot meninga atas for bahasa inggris still tune in to DD TV KPM for our Menengah Atas slot for Bahasa Inggeris today and uh, by now you're already familiar with the format of how to write an article and also the tools or props needed to write an article such as using comparisons, having paragraph topics for each paragraph and also having conditional sentence. Now that we know all of that teacher Amira, can we start writing? Yes, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Let's try. <laughs> Okay, so for this segment, we are going to ask our students to start writing. Okay. All right. So before writing, we need to plan our idea first. So here comes the drafting. Okay. So I'm going to come up with the question first. So this is the question for our students or the given task. You see this announcement in an English language magazine for teenagers. So the topic given is my favorite way to eat. Where do you prefer to eat? At home? At a restaurant? Somewhere else? Write an article about your favorite type of place to eat, explaining why you prefer it. The best articles will be published in our magazine next month. Write your article. So this is a question or task uh, obtained from English Download B1+. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, first, while planning, we need to try to draft our essay first and we need to come out with a title. So here comes the captivating title to capture readers' attention. And then we are going to start with paragraph one, which is the introduction. Here we can state our preference and then just give some overview about our feelings towards our preference. Next, we have paragraph two, paragraph three, and paragraph four, where we explain our reasons using a new topic for each paragraph. So in this part, the students are going to identify or describe the main ideas supported by the elaborations and then examples mm -hmm. okay last but not least we have paragraph five which is the conclusion so in conclusion our pupils are going to restate their preference in a new or amusing way they can either paraphrase or maybe just restate their opinions by using different kind of sentences right okay, okay. all right so here we are going to discuss the ideas for our topic first so basically we have three ideas so i'm going to choose our favorite way to eat by eating at home okay mm -hmm. so for the first point of eating at home we have okay it is definitely more hygienic to eat at home so why don't we ask our students about their opinion or their idea regarding this okay okay can i have a volunteer does anyone would like to share their opinion? Yes, Irfan. Okay, Irfan, mm. can you please share your idea about it is more hygienic to eat at home? Do you agree? Agree. Okay, so what's your reason for that? Um, preparation and cooking process are clean and safe. Okay, so it is definitely more hygienic to eat at home as the preparation or cooking process is definitely way cleaner than out eating outside. Yes. Okay, I have to agree with you. Thank you, Irfan. Okay, what about we look at the next point? Okay, for the next point, hmm, I think it is economical for us to eat at home. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that, Fika? <gasps> yes, I believe so as well. Okay, why don't we ask our fellow student? Can mm -hmm. I have a volunteer? Do you guys agree or not? Ah, who's going to volunteer? Okay, Razif. Razif, can you please share your idea? Is it really economical to eat at home? 
Um, it is pocket friendly and I can save some money. Okay, ah. so by mentioning economical, it is definitely pocket friendly and mm -hmm. you can save some money by eating at home. It is quite true because sometimes I think eating outside can cost you More a lot. Yes. Because you are paying for them to cook for you, right? Yes, true. Mm. Okay, why don't we go to the next point? Okay, for the third point, mm, so eating at home gives us better taste and quality food. Hmm. That's uh, debatable. Okay, why don't we ask our fellow students about their idea? Who Can agrees? someone share your idea, please? Mm -hmm. All right, that's name. So, what's your idea? Is it true? Yes. Good quality ingredients will make food better and healthier. Okay, so good quality ingredients will make our food taste better and tastier. Mm -hmm. For for example, when we are doing grocery shopping, we usually pick the best items or premium items yes. to be cooked at home. Mm -hmm. So I think we definitely have to agree with this one. Yeah. It does provide better taste and quality, especially if it's our mom's cooking. Cooking, of because course. Because mom's cooking is everyone's favorite food. Yes, they always uh, is according to our preference. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. I'm going to show to our pupils about on how to draft an article. So first we have a title. So the title has been given over there. So the title is Eating at Home. And we already provide the opening paragraph for our students. So I'm going to read up the introduction first. As some people like to eat outside, especially at fancy and posh restaurants, some others prefer to prepare and cook their own food at home. It depends on the kind of lifestyle people are living in too. Personally, I prefer to eat at home rather than eating outside at a restaurant. So here we can see from the introduction, uh, we already mentioned our preference to eat at home rather than eating outside at a restaurant. And we also include our personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to assign our students with their parts of writing this All right. because we are going to do a collaborative writing. So for collaborative writing, I'm going to assign our students for different parts. So they are going to do the main part one, main part two, main part three, and then the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't we ask our students to practice the main points discussed previously and write it into their parts. Okay. okay. So I think I'm going to give the first part, main part one, to Irfan. Mm -hmm. Irfan, can you do main part one? Okay, main part two is for Razif. Mm -hmm. Razif, can you do main part two? All right. Main part three is for Tasnim. Okay, okay. is it okay? And the last one, the conclusion part is for Sharifah. Right, is it clear? If you are okay with the task, show me thumbs up. They look super ready. Okay, so while waiting for our students to complete their task, they mm -hmm. are going to write their ideas into a paragraph. Okay, we are going to give them some time. Okay, why don't I ask for your opinion, Fika? Okay, teacher. What All right, Fika. It? So, do you prefer to eat outside mm -hmm. or eating at home? All right, my personal preference, I would prefer eating outside at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Because um, while eating at home is economical, mm -hmm. my personal opinion is that sometimes the food cost nowadays, uh, especially, especially at groceries, they cost a lot as well. Yeah, true. So sometimes it balances out what we buy at restaurants and also what we buy fresh produce to cook at home. Uh -huh. mm, what do you think? How about you, teacher? Okay, Which one do you I prefer? I think eating outside is definitely a choice when we are celebrating for certain occasion or uh -huh. family events because it is something special and we need to celebrate it at a posh restaurant. Wow. Okay. And I also think, especially if we are, we are living single mm. or staying alone, I think it will cost the same amount. Mm -hmm. Either we cook at home or we eat outside. So it is sometimes definitely economical for someone who is living single or someone who is not staying with the whole family to eat outside. Mm -hmm. okay? Because it's just the same amount of money cost for them to eat outside or eating at home. Right, good points okay? there. Yes. Mm. Sometimes even when you eat at home, you need to spend time 
to wash the dishes yes. and maybe it will take a lot of your time for preparation to, as yes, well. Yes, preparation, true. Mm -hmm. okay. But I totally agree as well. If you want to celebrate some uh, special occasion, have it at a lavish restaurant once in a while. It uh, it will it will just um, have it nicely. It's nicely done. Yes, true. One for the memory. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think our students are already done with their answers. So mm -hmm. why don't we try to check? Okay, so they already sent their piece of writing. Okay. So we are going to analyze their answers. So wow. let's check. That was what, fast. Yes. <laughs> okay, for the first part, main part one, which is the first main idea, this is written by Irfan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. All right, Irfan, so this is what you sent me. Okay, so can you please read it aloud? The cleanliness and guaranteed. The cleanliness and guaranteed. I can make sure the preparation and cooking process are clean and safe. Also, I can eat comfortably at home. I can wash the vegetables twice and throw the meat properly. Okay, so the main idea here is the cleanliness. So mm -hmm. you mentioned about the cleanliness or the hygiene of the food prepared. Okay, so let's see. The cleanliness is guaranteed. That is definitely true. I can make sure the preparation and cooking process are clean and safe. Also, I can eat comfortably at home. I can wash the vegetables twice and thaw the meat properly. Okay, I have to agree with you. This is true. But we are going to identify some errors. Mm -hmm. Okay, identify from your essay. So here, let's look at the first line. The cleanliness is guaranteed. There is nothing wrong. There is no error. I can make sure the preparation and cooking process are clean and safe. Okay. Also, I can eat comfortably at home. Maybe here we can... Have a... Yeah, maybe just put a linkers there. or a little bit conjunction. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we can just put a full stop and let's start with a new sentence. The cleanliness is guaranteed. I can make sure the preparation and cooking process are clean and safe. Full stop. I can also eat comfortably at home. So here, another full stop. Punctuation. You forgot your punctuation. I can wash the vegetables. Okay, this is the wrong spelling. So vegetables, V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E-S. Mm -hmm. I can wash the vegetable twice and thaw the meat properly. So again, another punctuation. Full stop. Mm. All right. Okay, thank you, Irfan. How so why the... don't we go to the next one? Yes. Okay, the next part is written Razif. by... Yeah, Razif. Okay, Razif. Okay, let's see what you send me. Okay, Razif, can you please read first your part? Shopping in bag can be economical as there are many discount offered. It, it is also pocket friendly as I do not need to spend extra money for fast food. With that, eating at home is definitely less expensive than eating outside every day. I can save about RM20 of my pocket money per day. All right, oh, thank you, Razi. That's a lot of saving. Okay, shopping in bulk can be economical as there are many discounts offered. So shopping in bulk here, I guess he meant the grocery shopping done monthly. Mm -hmm. Okay, can be economical as there are many discounts offered. It is also pocket friendly. So here, I think I already identify an error. Mm -hmm. So pocket friendly need to be connected with a hyphen. Ah. I'm sorry. So we have a hyphen over here. And I think you misspelled the word friendly. Yes, there should be an N Yes, there. missing N over here. Okay. As I do not need to spend extra money for fast food with that. So this is actually a sentence connector. So it must ah. be written with capital letter. So mind your capitalization. And then we need to have a comma here. Okay. With that, eating at home is definitely less expensive than eating outside every day. I can save about 20 ringgit of my pocket money per day. Okay, that is definitely true. Thank you, Razif. Mm, teacher, just a quick question. When mm -hmm. it says that RM20, can we write it in 20 ringgit as well? Uh, it is preferable to write with the symbol. Oh, with so the symbol. we know that it is actually a currency of a country. Okay, okay. thank you, Teacher Mira. All right, so why don't we move on to the next part? So the next part is written by Tasnim. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Tas name, can you please read your part? I can choose only the best and good quality ingredients for my food. Food. It is better than eating fast food, and she knows exactly how I like my food. Hence, it will 
definitely taste better than eating at restaurant. I can choose only the best and good quality ingredients for my home cooked food. It is healthier than eating fast food and my mom is also a good cook and she knows exactly how I like my food. Hence, it will definitely taste better than eating at restaurant. So let's identify the errors. Okay, I can choose only the best and good quality ingredients for my home cooked food. So this is supposed to be written with a gap. It is healthier than eating fast food and my mom is also a good cook. Okay, maybe you can put a full stop here and start. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, click outside. Okay, yeah. we are going to cut this out and mm -hmm. I start with a new sentence. She knows exactly how I like my food. I should be written in capitalization. Hence, it will definitely taste better than eating at a restaurant. So we need to put article a. Uh. Ah, she made a comparison at the last sentence. Yes, there. she definitely compared between eating at a restaurant and eating at home. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, All right, so that is a good piece of writing. Thank you, Tasneem. Okay, what about we go to the last part, which is the conclusion. So this closing paragraph is written by Sharifa. Let's mm -hmm. check this out. All right, Sharifa, can you please read your part? The conclusion is better eating at home, is hygienic, economical, and definitely give better taste and quality food. I hope we can make it a good habit habit to eat at home so we can save up the save up money, save up some money and spend quality time with family. All right. Okay, thank you Sharifa. So this is the conclusion. I would suggest that we start our conclusion with a sentence connectors maybe to conclude. So this is not really suitable. The conclusion is a better Okay, maybe you should write something like this. To conclude, it is better to eat at home because it is, okay, you just put up some words over there, because it is hygienic, economical, and definitely gives better taste and quality food. I hope we can make it a good habit to eat at home so we can save up some money and spend quality time with family. So overall, the rest is just fine. Mm -hmm. All right. I can see how uh, big of an effort our pupils made. Yes. And that was an example of a collaborative writing. Yes, true. And we have more to come as usual, but we'll be right back here on Didi TV KPM. Pupils, let's come back to class today. We are uh, going to learn more about English and we're focusing on writing skills for Form 5 pupils. Now, I would like to ask teacher Mira before we proceed with our lesson for this segment, what is the importance of adjectives in writing an article? Okay, so the importance of using an adjective in writing an article is to beautify our writing piece. Uh -huh. Okay, so when we are using adjective, we are going to describe or elaborate vividly about our experience or maybe the features as we cannot see the audience or the reader cannot really see what we are trying to explain mm -hmm. so by using adjective or strong adjective we can put a degree into our explanation interesting now are we going to explore more about adjectives now yes true okay, okay. let's go all right so for this activity mm -hmm. we are going to use adjective okay so students are going to unleash their creativity in making or constructing a sentence or a thesis statement. So here, the task is for the students or pupils to write a thesis statement by using the given phrase and a chosen adjective. So I'm going to give a phrase for them. So this is the same phrase for everyone. This is just a general one. Mm -hmm. Eating at home is definitely a good choice. And here comes the option of adjective. So the students are going to pick a number and they're going to be shown an adjective of their choice without they knowing it. Okay, oh, right. so with this adjective, they are going to combine or include this adjective into the given phrases to make a thesis statement. Mm -hmm. okay, basically, they are going to construct a sentence or construct a thesis statement by using the given phrase and the chosen adjective. Okay. Okay, so why don't we start with a volunteer first? Can I have someone to volunteer? All right, who wants to go first and set the bar? Okay, Razif. All mm -hmm. right, Razif. 
Okay, so the pink one is the given phrase. So you need to use the phrase in your writing. And then you are going to be allowed to choose one number. So which number do you pick? Um, number two. Okay, number, number two. two. All okay. right, Fika, can you please show All which right. adjective you got? Number two is clean. Okay, so the task is Razif is going to include the word clean in his sentence to make a TC statement. So mm -hmm. use the given phrase and the word clean to construct a sentence. I will give you maybe just one second. Can you please write it faster? One. And then show me your <laughs> answer. All right. Can you show your answers on the screen? Okay. Looks like he's writing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any tips for this uh, activity? Okay. Or I think this is, this is just, just a simple activity for mm -hmm. them to try to use their creativity into including this adjective in their writing. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so they're going to come out with multiple kind of sentences and we're right. going to see how they are going to do it. Okay. All right, so Razif, so are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, show me a thumbs up. Okay, if you are ready, you can pop up your sentence. Show it to the viewers at home. Okay. All right. Mm, mm -hmm. Can you take it a little, back, a little bit back? Yes, let's have it more clear. Okay. Eating at home is definitely a good choice because it is. Can you take it a little bit back? I cannot see. Or maybe the lift it higher so we can see. Yeah, below. lift it higher. Yes. Just put it up high. Yes. Not too close to the camera, please. Okay, a bit back. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. All right. Because it is guaranteed to be clean. Mm. Okay. So eating at home is definitely a good choice because it is guaranteed to be clean. So he. He was using the the given phrase and I can see the word clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well done. Good job, Razif. Thank All you. Right. Okay, why don't we ask for the next volunteer? Okay, who's next? Choose your number. Okay, Tasnim. Tasnim, are you ready? Okay, so now pick a number first. One, Which three number do you or choose? four? Um, number two. Number two. Number, tr oh, number three. Number three. Uh -huh. Okay, so number three is delicious. Okay, so the word that you get is delicious or the, the adjective is delicious. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to write? Okay, let's give her some time. All right. Okay. They should be able to think of it in just a gif, like yes, very fast because yes. it's a simple mm -hmm. activity. All right. So are you ready? Okay, Tasnim, are you ready? Please show me your answer or your sentence. Okay, Pop it up have it on the camera ah. okay eating at home is definitely a good choice because my mom's cooking is so delicious wow well i think everyone is to agree with you because yes. everyone's favorite okay it is everyone's favorite to eat mom's cooking mm -hmm. so that is a good one thank you tasnim okay okay why don't we try to ask for the next volunteer all right we just have two numbers left okay irfan irfan can you please pick a number number one Okay, number one. number one. So let's see. Okay. This is expensive. Your adjective is expensive. Are you ready? Right. So he's writing it down. Okay. All right. But uh, I believe the next people don't have a choice. We have one more to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the kind of activity that can uh, unleash people's creativity, right, yes. teacher? Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I even do this activity with uh, my low intermediate level of class. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can just combine or they can compile a noun and a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, So with a noun and a verb, they are going to use their imagination into constructing a sentence. Ah. It can be anything as long as they are constr constructing a sentence. Alright, okay. okay. I think he is ready. He looks ready. Alright, Irfan, can you please show me your answer? Okay, can you please take it a little closer to you, not closer to camera? Okay, eating at home is definitely a good choice because it is expensive. So I notice a spelling error, choice, C-H-O-I-C-E. So eating at home is definitely a good choice because it is expensive. Maybe you can add up some, it is expensive to eat outside. Okay, eating at home is definitely a good choice because it is expensive to eat Outside. outside. All right. Thank you, Ifan. That was a good try. All okay. Right. Why don't we go with least. the last person? Mm -hmm. Okay, Sharifa. So I think you are left with only one number, yes. which is number four. No option. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and why don't we see? Adjective is healthy. Okay. Your adjective is healthy. Are mm -hmm. you ready? Okay. All 
right. So for pupils at home who's watching this activity, I believe um, you don't need a teacher around to do this. You can have your friends suggest the adjectives or nouns, like yes. Teacher Mira said, or verbs involved to make that sentence. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. With this, I think students will uh, will think that writing or constructing a sentence is a lot easier rather than writing the longer ones. Right. Okay. All right, Sharifa, are you ready to show me your answer? Okay, let's see. Eating at home is healthy than eating at a restaurant. Okay, so you are actually writing a comparative there. So it's supposed to be eating at home is healthier compared to eating at a restaurant. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Thank you, Sharifa. Wow. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Peoples Online, for your answers. I hope Peoples at Home also had their own answers as well. Now, teacher, can we have a short um, a conclusion on what we've learned today? Okay, so I think basically for today's lesson, our students already learned on how to identify the features of an article. They also learned about using mind map to brainstorm the ideas. And they also learned on how to explain and justify their ideas by using explanation, elaboration on, and examples. Mm -hmm, wow. This, uh, those are good points to practice at home as well. Yes, true. Uh, now, teacher, uh, for those online, how did they perform today for their answers that you've asked them to? Okay, in my opinion, for today's lesson, our students actually managed to produce a piece of writing, regardless mm -hmm. whether it is long or short, it's still a piece of writing and that is their end product. So basically, they managed to achieve the lesson objective for today which is to write an article. Uh -huh. okay. Well, some people might uh, read an article and think, wow, this is so hard to write, but it's actually quite easy if you know the ways and the yes, formats true. and the tips from Teacher Mira. True. <laughs> now, for those who want to do more revision, who wants to write an article more, where can they access to do um, references as well? All right. For the viewers at home and mm -hmm. our fellow students, you may go to Portal de Lima to access our materials and further learn about our uh, materials from textbook all right teacher thank you so much for that access now um thank you for sharing us know your knowledge today and uh telling us how to write an article the proper way and thanks to teacher kulina for being with us here in the studio now thank you you guys for watching thank you pupils online as well for sharing us your answers until we meet again i'm shafiqa farahin assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera bye everyone